going on guys? New day, new video. So, today actually should be a good one. Uh, I was waiting on exhaust and intake manifold. One out of two showed up. But it is the important one. Edelbrock Performer intake manifold. And I got a few other things there. I got a spacer. Because I heard people said putting a holly on an intake, you need a little spacer. just makes life a little easier for linkage and some uh, fuel line stuff. And actually, some of these other things are for the 55 or the 56, sorry. And I got uh, a couple of belts, I'm hoping they're going to work, some headlights. Uh, you know, I gotta say, this was expensive. I mean, it's brand new and all that. It didn't come with any gaskets, which kind of pissed me off. I didn't know that until I got home. And now everything's closed. And, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping I can just keep the gaskets I had on there, because I, I kind of did like a little silicone sandwich. But the top, uh, where it actually joins to the intake was not siliconed. Hopefully that's going to work out for me, and if it doesn't, I'll just kind of silicone it on. But, uh, no, it's kind of a bummer. We pay $400 for a intake manifold. It's going with intake gaskets, but whatever. What are you going to do? So, I'm going to set up the camera. I got a little, I'm going to clean up later. I don't really feel motivated to do that. I want to get this thing on. So, intake manifold on, carburetor on, and, uh, yeah, I'll see what we got for linkage, all that sort of stuff. Fuel lines, ignition, we know it rolls over, so we gotta do a little bit of wiring. And probably neutral safety. Make sure it's got power to the control center there. And it should it should crank the light. I do have to screw out the fuel line because I did cut her in half on accident there. So I gotta do with that still. I don't know if I have gas in a jerry can. Oh, and I bought, well, this might be the most important thing, a fuel filter. Hopefully I don't gum up this brand new carburetor, or rebuilt carburetor. Yeah, that well, should be good. I'm actually I'm really excited. Should be a good night. It's gonna be loud with no proper exhaust, but uh, yeah, neighbors are cool, right? That sure changed the way the motor looks, eh? So we got the intake on. Uh, I painted the coil just before I put that on. We got the old 750 Holly on it. So again, this came from my buddy Chuck over at Gorilla Carburetors. Check that guy out. He's minty. So he kind of rebuilds or refurbishes old carburetors. So whatever you want. Uh, he told me to test this thing out. Let me know what I think. So careful you ask for it, buddy. He asked what it was for. I told him. He says ready to go. We'll see what happens. I got a bunch of jets and all that if I have to. But I'm stoked on it. Uh, one thing, the coolant didn't leak down, so I don't think I have any leaks, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to screw around, get the plugs in, because i got to do that. we got to figure out to get it wired so it'll actually crank with the key, so i got to get under it and get the neutral safety on the transmission on these stupid Chryslers. Uh, oh, I put the belt on. Ting! So that was mint. Everything seems to be okay there. I don't know if this alternator is good or not, but uh, it'll be good enough to spin the water pump, and that's all it really matters. If it doesn't charge, we can deal with that some other time. I have to do some googling because this is the wiring for the uh, electronic ignition off of the uh, New Yorker, like a 734, I guess it was, versus the junk I have. So I'm going to do a little research. It looks like it might just plug her into that kind of bulkhead. 
which if that's the case it would be real easy but uh yeah so i'm gonna do a little research on that get a few things dialed together and uh yeah tighten up spark plugs just little kind of junk stuff like that which i don't think you guys want to see every last little piece right so we'll do that and then i'll be back and uh, hopefully start bumping it over maybe try and set the timing see if merle come over and help me out and uh yeah maybe dump a little gasoline on the carburetor and see if it uh goes vroom vroom you know here's one of those times i wish I could talk to you guys directly live because you have some information that I don't have. So, trying to figure out how this little electronic gizmo box works. Now, I've never done this before, so cut me some slack. Now, I think I understand how the original system worked. It's pretty simple. I've taken the five pin box out of the wiring harness. Looks pretty simple. We got power in. Now, what I found on the internet was if it's a two pin balance resistor versus a four pin you just don't use the green wire the other stuff seems pretty simple watch the paint on this side you got distributor this is going to be your negative triggering to the to the uh, coil power in now on the back side um, i don't have the battery hooked up so i gotta do that that's kind of relevant i can hook that up any time here are the two wires which i'm assuming one's going to be the run and this one's and one's going to be the like start and run off the ballast resistor and i'll just have to lengthen those to the uh, positive of the coil now seeing how it was a small block everything would have been back there which makes a bunch of sense so that's how i'm going to do it there should be a test this is the this is the wiring diagram i was using Boop. so feel free to pause that and double check it and let me know by this time it's already running whether it's off this or a completely different setup so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mount it back there. Seems pretty simple. Just a couple of wires and yeah, I got the coil mounted. I should be able to kind of dial that all together. I'm going to do that. Then I got to work on neutral safety. Obviously hook up the crank and uh, I'll probably figure it away. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll finish up the wiring. We'll get that mounted and we'll come back and uh, see if I'm an idiot or not. Well, more of an idiot than normal. All right, I got a lot of wiring done. I kind of figure we're, it's getting kind of long in the tooth here. Let's start this thing, right? That's where everyone's got to be. Um, so we have the box hooked up, got the wiring together. It's a little bit too long, so I'm going to shorten that. Uh, I got my fuel line hooked up. I put just a plastic uh, filter on just so I can see what the fuel's going to look like. Huh, hopefully I have gas in a jerry can because that's going to be the uh, original tank full of junk. We got the battery in. We got some grounds. We got... Uh, Everything needs to be kind of cleaned up a little bit. This is just kind of there. We have the neutral safety hooked up. Plugs are all in. What else have I done since then? First stop by. So, of course, that, you know how that goes. Bullshit for an hour. It's now like 11.30. Uh, but all we really have left is roll it over, find top dead center, drop the distributor in, put the plug wires in, on. Assuming my ignition is correct, and we get fuel should start or backfire or do nothing but i feel committed i want to i want to keep giving her so in here now we got the battery hooked up look at the little lights on let's see if we can do this all right so we're all legit there key works now what i'll probably end up doing is turn the key on uh, I got to make sure I have power and all that stuff at, uh, at the coil, do a few things like that. But I'll end up probably using the jumper box so I can operate everything from under the hood. But yeah, a few last little things. Like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and set the timing, roll it over, find TDC. And we'll see if we can uh, put a little fire in this thing. Look at this. All wired up. I mean, it's a little messy. Uh, so we're ready to go, right? I'm an idiot and I don't have any gas. It's one o'clock in the morning, it's windy as hell out, I don't feel like trying to siphon anything out of what I have, and I'm not, I'm not driving around trying to find a 24 hour or whatever pay thing, so. We got a lot done, uh, tomorrow, start at it, uh, bright eyed, bushy tailed, it's got coolant in it, I think the wiring's all good, we'll find out tomorrow, how right I am, or wrong I am, I guess I should say, but, I mean, we're ready to give her, I can't see it being too many more things before she's uh she's running i mean it turns with a key 
we got everything all together. I got it kind of static timed at about 10 degrees, I'm hoping. So it should go if it had that uh, combustible fuel in it. Oh well. I was hoping to get it all done tonight, but it'll be that much sweeter tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Car's on the table. It's the next day. I was trying to get it running. It didn't go well. No one's seen that footage. I didn't handle it well. So I rewired it with the dual ballast resistor. Still didn't work. Called Murr. He double checked all my work. I did everything right. Still didn't work. Then we were screwing around a bunch more. And actually in the distributor I was looking in there and the Hall effects gap. Reluctor gap. Reluctor gap just seemed a little on the big side. So we took it apart, cleaned it, regapped it, put it back together and uh, turned the keymer. Now it's got no fuel line on it. It's a nightmare of wiring. Don't sit on my windshield either. Oh. <laughs> So it runs, like real, real, Swiss real shocker, but uh, so I have, I mean, I gotta clean this up because this was my fit of rage wiring. Get all that dialed together. I gotta run the fuel system because I like cut the line on accident, but I do a jerry can of fuel. We can dump in there. Hopefully it'll pick it up. It's got coolant in it. I mean, the belts are going, no crazy noise. And yeah, I feel happy now. I was angry. So I'll get all that dialed together, maybe we'll bring it back and actually let it idle and run and uh, set the timing and all those fun things. All right, so, uh, cleaned up the wiring. Uh, I ran the fuel line, which is good, and I ran some air through it, so it's got prime. The fuel tank is leaking, which is a bummer, huge bummer, unfortunately. At the very bottom, it's, uh, it's real soft and stuff, so obviously it's rotted out over time. Uh, Rock Color does have them, so I'm going to another one. It's just, it's only money, right, at this point. So, uh, we're going to set the timing real quick. We're going to play with the carburetor, make sure it's happy, which I'm sure it will be. When I uh, static time this thing, I put it in right at 10 degrees advance. So I'm hoping that's what it's going to be at, what it's going to like. And everything will just go swimmingly. It, uh, when we just fired it up there before without any kind of actual fuel, it idled fine and, and whatnot. So it seemed pretty snappy, so I think the carburetor probably won't need much adjustment, if any. Gentle, buddy. You just call yourself buddy? Yeah, I talk to myself sometimes. Alright. Muff up. Stupid no exhaust. Why does everything have no exhaust and a broken window and no muffler all the time? Ghetto. Oh, my life. Alright, let's give her a little, little head start. A little herbal essence. Good stuff.
before he runs. So this thing's got a running motor in it for the first time since probably 1976 with the plate on it. Absolutely amazing. This thing, uh, there's a plate in the front, yeah. This thing fought me tooth and nail, I mean, multiple motors, different transmissions, and even this thing fought me a bit in the end with the electrical. <laughs> Whatever, we, we figured it out. Now it's got that fuel leak, so like I said, we'll just we'll let it drain out into a jerry can and uh, pull the tank. And like Rock Auto has one, it's a few bucks. Uh, I'll call it tomorrow, see if anyone local has it. I doubt it. I doubt anything's gonna be local for anything, so. Uh, fortunately, shipping was $75 on the fuel tank, on a $112 fuel tank, so... I thought the shipping was $92. That was with the strap and the sender, if I get that. If I buy everything, it's 92 bucks. If I just want the tank, it's 70 so... I should probably do everything. You talked me into it. We'll have a brand new fuel system front to back, and we'll have to deal with any junk in the tank and all that stuff. Because, <clears throat> again, trying to fix this one, I think it would be a nightmare with... Schmoon it up and leave us on the side of the road with this exact problem. The fuel mileage would be really bad when it leaks gas. Well, yeah. Thanks for everyone who helped out. I really appreciate it. This thing is now a runner driver. Well, runner. Uh, drive shaft, hopefully, this week coming up. We'll be able to make one up and slap that in there. Exhaust will be here in the next couple of days and I can fabricate some exhaust. And it's actually great. It's again from Lyle's, but it's factory tailpipes, so it should just fit real easy. No custom stuff. Uh, and get that dialed together. Yeah, drive shaft in, get the fluids once over, make sure it's all good there, put the hood on, do all the wiring, got the seats up, and really it'll be a it'll be a driver. So there's still lots going on. Uh, yeah, probably just pull the trigger and buy that tank right now and get it <laughs> get it moving. Try and save 40 bucks and, and lose a whole other week of screwing around. But uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Leave a comment below. Come on, 440 first start and actually runs. Sounds pretty good, snappy. Oh yeah, the, so the timing there. It was bang on 10 degrees and all in. I didn't even touch the distributor, it was like 36. So that's, I think, great. It seems really happy there. The carburetor, I did no tuning to it. I tried to play with the mixture screw a little bit, but ultimately ended up leaving exactly where it was. So, buddy Chuck there, a gorilla, he sure knows what the hell he's doing. Yeah, I think it's, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to drive it. Windshield's gonna be an ugly one, but we'll deal with that another day. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Tell your friends all those good things. Buy an old car you can't really afford, don't know how to work on it. It's a fun time. See you in the next one.